Hi, I'm Ken Marcellus, and this is Talk to City Hall, the program where Dayton City Mayor and Commissioners talk to you about programs and activities that affect our community. Today I'm in the office of Dayton City Mayor Gary Leitzel. Thank you for having us today. Well, hello again, Ken. How are you doing? Not doing too bad. I understand that a rec center has recently opened. Can you talk to us about that? Right, right, Ken. Yeah, that's the, we, we just opened up the Greater Recreation Center, uh, at Greater Dayton Recreation Center at Roosevelt Commons. And um, it's right off of uh, West Third, and it's I, I was at the ribbon cutting. It's a, it's a phenomenal facility. Uh, I have never seen so many people show up at a ribbon cutting before. I mean, normally we get the the same 20 to 40 or so faces that we recognize, but there there were, had to be three, four hundred people at this event. Um, everyone was impressed with the facility, and uh, it's my understanding that we signed up hundreds of new um, you know uh, members. On, on, the, on the opening day. So uh, it, it's a great facility. They've got state-of-the-art workout equipment. Um, my understanding is you can even plug your iPhone or something in and it will you know, re record your workout so you can come back and, and know exactly where you are. Uh, the pool was, was cool. It wasn't your standard uh, Olympic style pool. It was a nice uh, sort of a more geared towards kids with, with a water slide and some little um, <clears throat> areas and some neat little features that drop water on you and stuff. I mean, um, so if you get a chance, stop out and see it. It's uh, you know, anybody, I, mean, I tell the public too, go out and check out the, the Greater Dayton Recreation Center at Roosevelt Commons and see for yourself what a great facility we've just built in West Dayton. Dayton recently played host to a regional conference and I understand you were able to attend. Absolutely. I even registered to attend that conference. Yeah, it was the Regional Neighborhood Network Com Conference, and it, it's something that um, is held every year. I think we've done it a couple of times here in Dayton, and uh, next, next year it's in Cincinnati, and I think we certainly gave them a challenge because the comments I got back from the participants from out of town was that it was first class. They were treated in a first class manner, the food was excellent, the, the events were excellent, the tours were excellent. I got to sit in on a couple of the classes and they were certainly interesting. Um, and I got to hang out in, in the evening with some of the entertainment and took a tour of the Oregon district with our staff and, and uh, even, even bought a few beers for some people. And you no, know, it was good. It was good to hang out with regular people um, in, in a regular place and, uh, you know, I would recommend anybody, if they're, if they're involved in the community, to certainly look at going next year in Cincinnati since it's so close, and, and certainly volunteer and get involved in, in your local neighborhood association, your community, your block club, or even any of our priority boards. I mean, it's, uh, the people that were there are proud of what they're doing in their communities. There's an anniversary that's taking place, an entrepreneurial center. Can you talk to us about that? Yes, yes, here in Dayton. It's actually the first building that com comprises Tech Town, and it's across the street from what we, we envision as Tech Town. It's right there off of Monument Avenue. Um, ten years ago, they opened the Entrepreneur Center. It's an incubator. It's where uh, people with good business ideas can uh, have office space, access to um, uh, a copier, you know, phones, and there are several of these businesses in this one location in this one building and they kind of uh, feed ideas off of each other they their, their businesses grow they can become successful um, and yeah ten years ago they they opened it up and ten years later they have created or retained 488 jobs they've got several businesses that have uh, done extremely well and and uh, some have grown up through the center and then got too big and had to set up facilities elsewhere. I mean, it's, it, it's one of Dayton's success stories. It's a place for entrepreneurs to, to come and, and um, get established on a low budget. And, and ha I guess what entrepreneurs look for is an opportunity to, to fail. They don't want to fail, but, but if, if we don't allow them the opportunity to succeed or fail, then, then we guarantee failure. And so this facility has kind of been set up to give entrepreneurs the opportunity to succeed or fail on a, on a smaller budget and, and see if their ideas take off. I, I, I was impressed. They're starting a mentoring program, too, where they're going to have business owners mentor other small business owners to be successful. And I think that's something that we need to encourage in this town is... Uh, is uh, that we get our small business people to be successful. 
because uh, success breeds success and, and uh, it'll grow the job base and the tax base for the city. So everybody wins. So um, they, we have other incubators around, but that was pretty much the first one and a lot of people didn't think it would work. And Ten years later, it's, a, it's one of Dayton's success stories. Thank you for having us today. Well, thank you. Thank you again for coming out. And thank you for watching. I'm Ken Marcellus and you have been watching Talk to City Hall. If you have a comment or a question for the mayor, you can post it on our YouTube channel or email us at govtv at cityofdayton.org. Thank you for watching.